in summary, this mini lecture has introduced for us this concept of the stoichiometric coefficient. And we've really used these in two ways. First, we've seen that the stoichiometric coefficients are derived in the balancing of chemical reaction equations. And they are put in place to ensure that they're equal numbers of each atom type on the reactants and product side. We then saw how these stoichiometric coefficients effectively give us directions or conversion factors for converting between the amounts of different reactants and or products. Armed with the ability to convert between different amounts of reactants and products, we were able to define a number of useful terms relating to chemical reaction equations more generally. First, we introduced the concept of the limiting reactant or that reactant that is used up first, which determines the amount of product that is actually formed during the course of a reaction. The theoretical yield is that maximum amount of product that you can possibly get from using up all of that limiting reactant. We then discussed how in practice, you never actually achieve that theoretical maximum due to side reactions, uh, experimental error, etc. And we define the ratio of that actual yield to the theoretical yield expressed as a percentage as the percent yield for that chemical reaction equation. Now, for additional practice working with the stoichiometry of basic chemical reaction equations, I'd like to turn everybody's attention to the stoichiometry CDF that is available uh, through Canvas. This CDF uses the same chemical reaction, balanced chemical reaction equation that we saw in this exercise and provides a small interactive table that allows you to change the number of grams of O2 that you start off with in the reaction and the table's values are automatically dynamically updated to reflect the number of grams of H2 required to react fully with the given amount of O2 and the amount in grams of water that is produced. So this, in this way, you can set up for yourself, you know, and, uh, thousands, if you wish, possible moles and stoichiometry problems to double check your ability to solve these. So for example, if we set the num initial number of uh, grams of oxygen at 8.5, we see that in order to re fully react 8.5 grams of oxygen, we will need to react 1.06 grams of H2, and we will form 9.57 grams of H2O. And of course, we are given these tabulated values in both grams of reactant and product as well as moles of reactant and product. So I encourage you all, if you need some extra practice to use this interface, set initial amount of reactant, cover up the answer and double check yourself. Once again, the software for running the CDF files is freely available at Wolfram CDF player website and I encourage you guys to download that Wolfram CDF player and you know play around with it as needed.